Hey guys, Space Marine 658 here, and I'm here to bring you an intro video to my channel, and uh, the first episode of my Let's Play series. Um, these, these first few videos, probably for a little bit here, are going to be about 10 minutes long, because that's about how long my uh, recording software will uh, record right now, because I have the free version. Um, and so, this uh, whole channel is just gonna be let's plays of games I have uh, or any games you guys would want to see just uh, leave a comment or send me a message um, this first let's play that I'm gonna do and I'm probably gonna do a lot of let's plays for this game uh, is RimWorld it's a alpha game well technically it's still in pre-alpha um, and it's a colony building game in case you guys don't know what this is, but a lot of you probably will because I'm going to post this on the forums. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to be following along with the development. I'm in the newest version right now, uh, as of November 7th. Uh, today is actually the 10th. Um, so as of November 10th, this is the, the newest version. So um, I'm still kind of new to the game. I've been playing since, like, I bought. Uh, the influencer, so I got it when it first came out about three or four, five days ago. Um, and I'm okay at it, I'm still learning though. I'm gonna keep it the small size, and uh, I, I think for the let's play, it, it'll be fine to uh, play with Chill Cali Classic. Because um, I want it to be a little more relaxed, where I don't have to feel like I'm being raided every two minutes. Uh, let's see. Our world origin color. This seems like a really decent person. Uh, these aren't in the game yet. Can't wait for them to be in there. It'll uh, add a whole new depth. Um, but everything social and up has. So this person is a well rounded character, but they're not great at anything and they're poor at uh, social research, but at least they have the points there. Um. Him, he's 27. Now, yeah. we got Gonzalez, <laughs> female, age 37, who's great at growing, is okay at construction, but is incapable of research. Um, so basically, we're gonna have she can't do any sort of research, only growing, and uh, some other manual labors like uh, her mining is okay, shooting in my labor for. Social, she's pretty good. Uh, so let's see, Yuen Chen, male, 28. Chronic pain, selfish. These don't actually have any effects yet, in case you guys, uh, who, those of you who don't own the game yet. Uh, but they're, what I've noticed is these always seem to fit in somewhere or other with uh, their backstory. So, like, he's got chronic pain. Which, I mean, it doesn't exactly, like, have any particular influence from his backstory. But it's not something that is out of place. But Selfish kind of fits with his medieval lordling. And I've noticed, like, a flat-footed and tattooed. He was an herb world urchin. You know, he's got his tattoo. And then flat-footed. Um, Absent-minded and pious. Medieval lordling, medieval farm, farm of. It's kind of funny. An idiot who in childhood was very social. <laughs> so actually he has a plus two to mining. Because minus one from being a medieval lordling. But then plus three from being a medieval farm loaf as an adult. Uh, so let's see. He's decent at social. She was. Oh. Okay. So they're both the same at social. Um, and then. He's meh at every shooting and melee at the combat, combat statistics. Um, his mining is better than uh, Gonzalez and worse than his. Okay. And then research is meh. Is growing and shifting are okay, but so it seems like we have some pretty good growers and two good constructors and one bad constructor. Um. Not the best start, but I don't like to change the first couple unless there's like I get a group where there's like no research or no constructing or something like that. 
I don't like to change this to, to six. It's just because it's a little unfair. So, I love the world. entire game is there's just, it's very well done. Never seen it. I need to do it remotely like. Um, and I'm just unlocking these so that when they land, they start falling. Um, so yeah. Let's see, where are we? Hmm. This ain't a bad start. Where would be a good place to set this? I hear ain't bad. I don't know. Hmm. There's no real great spot on this map. Hmm. I'm just giving them some orders to mine this out. I'll probably start here. You know, it's not too far from where they originally were, so they won't have to move too much stuff. Um, the one thing I have to say that I don't like about the game, because I'm just giving y'all an open review as I'm starting, is that um, there's a hard cap as of yet, as of right now, on the number of comics you can actually have um, at any one time. And, you know, I'm kind of more of uh, for the whole lots of colonists all over the place, you know, the, the urban sprawl kind of colonies. Um, so I'd like to, I'd hope that someday that that could be changed, but you never know. So let's see, where do I want to have my stuff? I like to leave a gap between solar panels um, because one, you can fit batteries in there, and two, it gives them access to the whole solar panel, so you don't have to worry about it like uh, getting damaged on one side and then being damaged because they can't reach that side. That's one thing I don't like, and I've noticed sometimes people do, and it's, it gets on my nerves. So like, it'd be so much easier to just do this. Looks like there's going to be a lot of open roof. Except for right there. This would be a good spot for all my solar panels. I can just line them up like this. And then like leave a gap. No. Oh, I just realized that battery would be blocking the gap. So better. I put the battery on the outside. Put it right there. So this better. Because then I can put a solar panel like this, like this, like this, and I'm using a base dispenser. Actually, I'm gonna build equipment for that. Battery right there. Leave the gap. I notice they tend to uh, get themselves stuck or they'll build a wall somewhere where they'll either get themselves stuck or so they be parts of the wall they can't actually finish complete. So you've kind of got to leave them room to get to all the wall. It's kind of a pain, but... And they, sometimes they'll like prioritize like something over something else, like very heavily. Even though like... Um, it could go either way. Like, see, with like construction, it makes sense that it comes before like all this other stuff. But sometimes they'll suddenly start growing when there's like a fire breaking out or something. Kind of odd. I think he's fixed most of those bugs though, but in the last update. But... Alright, we're almost done. This is gonna be their little eating room area, whatever you want to call it. Their food dispenser. I always like to leave a lot of room because, uh, you know, I mean, it's where they're gonna eat. You gotta have someone for them to eat. And... Make it a little more realistic. Gotta leave room for them to repair this thing. So, notice the nutrient uh, 